Hi all. So our next topic is device drivers. So device drivers are very very important topic. It may be asked as five for my five mark question or maybe ten mark question. Okay. So what is a device driver? A device driver has a set of routines used by a high level language programmer. That is, uh, that is ourselves humans human side. It is a set of routines that are using by our side and it is actually interacting with the device hardware and these routines are actually interacting with the device hardware and it will send control commands to the device and it communicates data to the device and runs the codes for reading device data. So actually it is the set of routines that are run that are written by ourselves and it will interact to the hardware part of the system and it will send commands to the devices and it will communicate data to the devices and actually it runs codes for reading device data. So this is how the device driver routines works. So each device in a system needs device driver routine with number of device functions. So every device that are using in our system needs a device driver routine. So now an ISR relates to a device driver command. There should be a ISR relating with every device driver command. That is device function. ISR means inter service routine. And the device driver uses SWI means software interrupt to call the related ISR. So the device driver how it is communicated to the related ISR through an software interrupt. Next. The device driver also responds to device hardware interrupts. So there should be multiple interrupts occurring inside the hardware of that device. So the device driver should also respond to the corresponding device hardware interrupts. So the next is device driver generic commands. So a programmer uses generic commands for device driver for using a device. So the operating system provides these generic commands. Each command relates to an ISR. So every command we are using is relating to a particular ISR. The device driver command uses an SWI to call the related ISR. So these are the generic functions that are used in the device drivers. So if, if we want to create the device driver the create function then the open connect these are the functions generic functions we are using inside the device drivers delete close write read and so on and so on so next is device driver code so device driver code will be different in different os so if we are using different os inside our system uh, the same device will be having different device driver code in different operating systems so device driver does the interrupt service for any event related to the device and use the system and IO buses required for the device service. So device driver can be considered software layer. So device driver can be considered as a software layer between the application program and the device. Okay, that is a simple definition of the device driver. Next is interrupt service routines. Interrupt service routines access a device for services. That what are the services? Configuring, configuring, initializing, activating and so and so. So next is interrupt service routines. This implements the device functions of the device driver. This is how it works. So these are the commands that are, we, that are giving to the device drivers that we are giving these commands to the device drivers so this is uh, given through an interrupt so at the device driver uh, command one that is first is the run shortcode then the signal that means signal to the isr one and at the command two command uh, c2 is going to the device driver here and here the signal isr2 is initiated okay so this is an example for how the device driver works 
application program commands to write on the display screen of a mobile the contact names of the contact from the contact so you have to display the names the contact names from the contact database of your mobile so the application that are uh, that we are um, uh, that we are installed in our mobile it will send some software in the to call the lcd display device driver so the names are actually displayed in our lcd display so the application program will send a software interrupt to call lcd display device driver the driver runs short code and execute so the driver will run the short code and execute a another software interrupt to call the isr related to write function at the lcd so the device driver does that without the application program so the application program doesn't know how does the, the lcd device interface in the system application program does, doesn't know how it is interfaced with the system it simply does what it simply calls a software interrupt to the lcd display device driver so it doesn't know the lcd device interface in the system what are the addresses by which it is used and when uh, what and where are ha how used are the control registers and status registers in that so this is how a device driver works inside your system uh, this is um, this is how it is fetching the informations from the uh, particular devices okay okay thank you